Okay, we have the uh, Void Rift Nightmare second fight. I'm going to use the same lineup as we did on the first fight. So with this one, we like to kind of place our tanks right up here in the front. So that way we got the rear tiles uh, for the healers so they can just do their thing. I'm going to put Oleg down first for his shield to go. I like to put Vortex back here. Now here with these Falling Stones, I don't put down our unit right away. Um, Hex can take one hit very easily because he's got his uh, kind of non-hit ability special. So after the second stone falls, we're going to place Hex. We'll get hit by this stone, take no damage, gets hit by the second stone, takes a little damage. So here what we want to do is Hex can take damage. We're going to want to place another DPS up here, and we want him to kind of be the only one getting healed. We're going to place Madan kind of going across the lanes like this. As soon as Hex's alt is up, we are going to smack it. Reason why is these uh, ads come in two waves. We need to clear them before that second wave gets there. Uh, as far as this side here, we're going to go ahead and place our broke here down. If you are having trouble with this DPS dying, and it is a marksman or somebody that has this uh, top tile damage, you could always place them down behind Medan so that way they don't get taken out. So for example, what you would do is uh, place them back here, but you would definitely need to have that tile so that way they can DPS that unit. As far as Comet, we're going to go ahead and place him here so that way he's got Medan and Vortex covering him at full time. He's a little bit more squishier than our Hex. <clears throat> the poison comes out. We're just going to wait for Madan's ult. As soon as she ults, she cleanses all the poison, so we're not worried about it. Now, once Comet gets his ult up, we're going to want to clear the rest of that lane out because the second lane's coming. Now, here we have the tiles falling. We have two options. Brokeer's alt's going to be up, which is what we're going to go ahead and use for this. Because we got Medan and Vortex able to heal Comet. Brokeer won't take any damage. We will alt our Comet. Now, with this big guy coming in, if we want to cheese a little bit of extra damage, or shouldn't really say cheese it, we can go ahead and place our other damage dealer up here. I chose Twin Fiend just for the Lord bonus for Hex. Go ahead and place our Twin Fiend. He's got a very fast alt. You can just use anybody else. I mean, Hatset or any other epic damage dealer you've got that's got a quick alt. Just sit here. Clear out this wave quick so you don't got to worry too much about damage. Uh, for him, we're going to go ahead and recall him so he's up a little later. None of our healers can reach him, so he was going to die no matter what. Here we got the Screech coming out. This is what poisons everybody. Nobody else is getting hit by the ad, so we don't have to alt our Vortex. We want to save him for a bad stone, which there's a bad stone. We got poison and we got the stones. We are going to want to alt our Vortex here. We're going to cleanse it. We're also going to alt our Vortex, keep everybody alive. We're going to alt our Hex to clear that lane. Comet side might be in just a little bit of trouble down there. If so, you can place, uh, if you bring another guy, or tanks don't take a ton of damage, you can place a fighter, mage, or somebody just to deal with this wave. Looks like he did just fine. There's a Screech again, that's the Poison. Healer should be able to heal through that just fine as long as we don't get a Falling Stone. And 
here we're just going to go ahead and wait to use our Comet's alt because we got the big boy coming in. We know we have a Falling Stone coming soon, so we don't want to place our other damage dealer, and it's on that side. To help mitigate this damage, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to alt our Broke here because he won't take any damage. We will alt our Vortex. We want to make sure we keep Medan's alt simply because when the poison comes, we want to make sure we can cleanse it. It's the same thing as the last. Poison and the stones are clear. We're going to place our fast burst. Now up here, 26 out of 30. Go ahead and alt our hex. No other adds are coming. Looks like somehow our comet is reaching over there because that little guy will alt him as well. And there's the second fight, Void Rift Nightmare.